Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adaptalux, and in this video I've got five macro photography ideas that you guys can easily try out at home. These are some of my favourite subjects that I've shot over the past 12 months or so, which means that we have full video tutorials on exactly how to recreate everything that you're about to see. I'll link to those videos as we go along in the top right hand corner of your screen, and they'll all be linked down in the description as well. At the end of this video I'll link a couple more exactly like this from previous years if you need some more ideas. If you do need more regular inspiration, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We upload new content to this channel every two weeks, so it's well worth sticking around for some extra inspiration and tutorials. For now though guys, let's take a look at our first idea. First up, I wanted to talk about something very common that often gets overlooked all too easily as it sits in our wallets ready to be spent. Money has all kinds of detail that can be really fun to capture with your macro lens. From the holographic security to the fine detailed lines and colours of the designs, there's a lot to reveal when you get up close. When it comes to international currency, things get even more interesting. Money from around the world often features little highlights and snippets from the history and the culture of its host nations, offering you a little glimpse into the various places around the world. Now, it probably goes without saying that very few of us have had the opportunity to travel the world last year. However, it's actually very easy to get hold of big bundles of depreciated currency. Not only is it super cheap uh, once it's not in circulation anymore, you can get a good variety from a lot of currencies by taking a look on eBay. I'd be very surprised if you're looking for macro photography ideas and you haven't already considered shooting fruit. However, there is a couple of different ways to do it and the way that I like to do it is to shoot those slices of fruit with a little bit of lighting underneath which is going to bring out all of the colour and the interesting textures from within the meat of the fruit. Although it's not always the most appetising, it can be very, very interesting. I did just mention fruit, but I think that peppers deserve a special mention all of their own simply because of how interesting they are on the inside. Now shooting these in slices isn't quite the same as just chopping off the top and trying to get your lighting and your lens down inside the pepper. All of these tiny little seeds attached to the cavernous interior of the pepper really do make for some very surreal, almost alien-like uh, interiors and landscapes. Our next subject is decidedly less organic and arguably a little bit more abstract. What we've got here is a 3D printed geometric toy. These little hexagons all interact with one another and it's really nice to shine a little bit of light down through them and create some silhouettes. What we're doing here is using that sheet of paper to uh, diffuse some coloured light as it was risen up from underneath. That means that we can mix all of that light and get some very pleasing shades as our silhouetted uh, geometric shapes sit on top. A subject like this might seem pretty simple at first glance, but with all of these individual parts there's quite a lot that you can do, including stacking them and rearranging them, coming in from different angles, all to create some very abstract looks. If you do have access to a 3D printer, I definitely recommend giving this one a go. This brings us to my favourite subject for this year, and it's quite simply smoke. I was using incense smoke and a couple of different light sources to capture both video and stills of this beautiful incense smoke coming up and creating different ethereal patterns. Once it's in Photoshop, you can change the backgrounds, you can change all of the colours and make some very interesting artworks. All it takes is to light the subject from behind either with continuous light for video or with some flash to bring out all of the details in your stills. This one is a hugely relaxing subject to try out at home on your coffee table, so I definitely recommend checking out the tutorial. 
That is all the time that I've got for now though guys, so do remember to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and remember to go and check out some of the other tutorials, ideas and macro inspiration that we have on the rest of our channel. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.